Well, guys, you've now seen my face. So you know what this means, and you can tell by the backdrop and the fact that my sunroof is open, that I am in my car. So today, uh, the first thing we're doing is I'm going to see about getting rid of this uh, center console. Um, not for weight reduction, just because it's really not sturdy. Um, here, I'm gonna show you guys. You can hear it moving. So, yeah, so basically, we're gonna try to get rid of at least some of the center console. I'm gonna clear out this uh, fucking shit for a minute. Um, but yes, we're gonna clear out the center console and then we are going to see if we can remove it. Um, so yeah, that is what we are going to start with. So, to do that, we're gonna need a screwdriver. Uh, it's a, I believe this is Craftsman. Uh, no, Northern Tool and Equipment is where I got my tools. Uh, and I didn't buy them. I didn't steal them either. I'm not a fucking criminal. Um, but I got them for free at a uh, tool uh, kit giveaway, which was awesome. Um, they're badass tools. You know, it's, uh, they're pretty helpful. So, first things first. Gotta get rid of these screws. Uh, sorry if I'm not showing you like in depth um, about this. I'm not Chris Fix. So if if you really want to see like an in depth tutorial on how to remove your um, your stuff, watch a Chris Fix video. Uh, I'm gonna clear out this magnet uh, dish real quick so I can use it. This is a little magnet. Um, the magnet actually is right here, but it uh, like expands around this little dish. It's very helpful um, for not losing your screws and shit. You know, if I had a screw loose, I'm mean, pretty sure I already fucking do. But you know, uh, this this car is it's bad, guys. Like, it, it, I looked it up on Kelly Blue Book. the The car as it is is not worth over a hundred dollars because the suspension is shit at best all right got two more screws back here this is a little bit different than um your average uh removal by the way this has a little bit of a magnet on the end of it too just so that way you can uh, pull your screws up no hassle but anyways this is a little bit different console than say a 1998 mustang gt Chris fix um but uh it's it's still pretty self-explanatory you remove all the screws and we got this part off the little uh cover for the box here now i'm gonna get all the damn coins out of here or not But yeah, sorry if this video is shit. It's, uh, I'm trying to get content out to you guys. And it's not good content, that I'll admit. Okay, you can shut up. Shut up. Okay, fine. It made me close the door. Sorry about that. Um, why does it not look like this is closed? Oh, it is. Okay. Sorry about that. That's just, uh, this car is fucking weird. I should have brought a flashlight. Uh, that would have probably been helpful. But you know what? Easy shit is for nerds. I'll put it that way. Even though it's fucking stupid, but, you know. Um, okay, this is gonna drain my battery, and I'm not even actually seeing anything more. Shut the fuck up. Um, but yeah, this is the key for the car. It's an infinity. Um, I do plan to fob it up at some point, just because that's easy. Um, it's not that expensive around here. And, uh, you know, it's... 
That was my phone. So, yes, this is the uh, gear lever. That's my parking brake. And yes, I'm wearing an NASA shirt because I'm a nerd. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, console I plan to remove. And yes, there's coins in there. Um, this is a hand-me-down car, so uh, that's why it's automatic. I would have gotten it in manual if I uh, if my sister could drive stick, um, and if we had found it in stick originally. But uh, we found it in automatic, and I mean, parking brake works. Uh, gear lever, however, it's weird. That is really bad for your car, by the way. Don't do that. Um, so, I'm going to see about how to get this stuff out. Um, this is not going to be an edited video, because I don't have editing software yet. Uh, I'm going to see if this just pops out. See, this is why I'm really jealous of Chris Fix. Not only because he has a car that's in manual, but the, the reason I'm mostly jealous of him is because he his car is easy to tinker with. You know, it's a 98 Mustang GT. Um, that's it's not a hard car to tinker with. It's, you know, it's common. I should probably not be having my foot on the brake pedal. Um... Is that a screw down there? That was the chair. But yeah, once again, I want to reiterate, I'm not doing this for weight reduction. I'm doing this because this damn thing pisses me off. Um, so... Oh man, I wish I had a wrench that had a uh, screwdriver head on it, but I don't. The only wrench I have is this one. It's a socket wrench, it's a ratchet. It's, it's very helpful, but it's not what I need right now. Because uh, the lighting is terrible, but down in there, we have two screws that we have to remove um, in order to get this out. And I, I think the only way to get to them is to get rid of the seat which is tempting um, so what I'm gonna do this is me I know that sounds really annoying um, and it's painfully slow too um, which I normally wouldn't mind but right right now it's not beneficial so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I also forgot to mention, the rear doors don't like to open. Uh, and yes, it's a sedan. Um, you're going to get a good view, good view of my back seat. Isn't that what you wanted to see anyways, girls? Uh, that's not an offer. Sorry for everyone who wanted to, but that's not an offer. Maybe. Uh, I'll get back to you on that. That's a joke. Humor. Third wave feminists don't understand it. Yes, I have just interjected a car video to bring you my political views. Fuck off. I I like politics, and yes, I am showing you my garage door, the inside of it. Realistically speaking, you're not going to be able to identify where I live from that. Only if you come to my house in real life, and honestly, you would recognize me anyways, if you knew me in real life. So, look at all this. This is my jacket. Belching, because I'm a man. Floor, so it's out of my way. Okay. Um.
So yeah, this is this did nothing for me. That's good. Um, I'm gonna leave the seats like that though, because I'm frankly too lazy to put them back, even though it takes five seconds uh, per side. But you know, this video is already ten minutes, so I'm already robbing you of all your money. Not really. I can't monetize my videos, so dragging them out to ten minutes is pointless. I don't have ten thousand views yet, so. I can't monetize my videos. Uh, so what I'm gonna uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I should have did I should have done a little bit more research uh, about this. But um, oh, genius idea! Tilt the seat all the way forward. Meanwhile, bring it all the way forward. Uh, there we go. Now I can reach it. Sweet. And sorry I had to look at my hand there. It's disgusting, I know. There's a reason I'm covering up my hair. It's because my hair is ten times worse. Um, but yeah. Let's get these cunts out. Is that broken? No, it's not. Okay. Toss that there. Oh, now I know why it's so loose. Because these fucking screws were loose. So I've had a screw loose this whole time, and none of y'all have told me? Fucking assholes. I'm joking. Once again, I like to joke. It's, uh, my humor is terrible. I know. I'm not a comedian. There's a reason I didn't sign up my YouTube channel for comedy. I, I do make shit posts. They're not funny. They're cringy as fuck. And I shamelessly, uh, well, no, quite shamefully, actually, uh, plugged that uh, shit post I had about uh, Street Speed 717 on one of Street Speed 717's videos. I just had to w move one of my damn nephew's toys because they're cluttering my damn garage. Even though it's not my damn garage. It's like a fat one. <clears throat> damn, it's going to be a two-hand job. I just said that, didn't I? It's a good thing most of my uh, viewers are male. <clears throat> I shouldn't say most, it's all. I have like one or two female subscribers, and I don't know why. Um, so yeah. Uh, let me get these uh, screws out. Drop them in my uh, magnet dish. And then the rest of it should be pretty simple from there. Should, in theory. It's not going to be. Um, I know, my profile is fucking terrible. But you know what? You can fuck right off. If you don't want to stare at uh, some cringy-ass 15-year-old. Ow, that's my knee. Uh then you can uh, not look at your screen for a few minutes while I'm doing this. You know, I'm not making these videos to look at. I'm not going to be honest. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I don't know why the hell I am making these videos. They're terrible. But you know what? Uh, I Can you tell I've had a few Mountain Dews today? <laughs> I've had like a liter and a half of Mountain Dew today, and that's, that's less than average for me. You know, but honestly, Mountain Dew puts me to sleep. I just... I talk about whatever the hell I want, uh, because I can. Oh, a dolphin. Forgot I have that air freshener. Uh, I'm gonna put that up here, inside of this. So, let me use the light from my phone real quick to determine if there's anything else. Uh, no, there's not. So, the rest of it, in theory, should just be clips, but I doubt it. Okay, there we go. I see the rest of the screws. They're fucking screwing with me, man. I'm very ashamed of that pun. 
Don't let my uh, failed attempts at, co at comedy fool you. I'm very ashamed of that pun. Alright. This would have been... You know what? <clears throat> You're gonna have to deal with that for a few seconds. Fine then. Damn bugs inside my car. Uh, hold on. Yes, I can still turn those on. Okay. Uh, that was just a uh, thing that could happen when the key was in. You know, I would bet that this actually has nothing to do with me removing the uh, center console, but I'm going to take these screws out anyways. So, yeah. Yes, I know, these are weird sounds that I'm making. Okay, that's slightly more comfortable. I wish I had a fucking uh, drill that I could use, but my dad owns, like, most of the tools in this garage. I think it's, I think it's my floor jack, my jack stands, and my creeper, and this toolkit are all of the tools that I own. Just kind of fucking annoying because I'm the one who uses them the most but yeah I got my uh, got my birthday coming up in eight days so at least at the time of recording this which is probably gonna be the same day it's uploaded because once again I do not edit my videos um I'm not Gingium, I'm not Crisfix. By the way, Gingium, Crisfix, and Street Speed 717 have to be my top three car YouTubers. NA. Uh, Gingium, because I followed him since he was at 27,000 subscribers or something like that. Crisfix, because he's taught me how to do a lot of shit with my car. And Street Speed, because he owns, two, he owns three Corvettes and a Duramax. And a Volkswagen. And, you know, Volkswagen's, like, one of the biggest auto companies in the world right now. They own Lamborghini, Porsche, uh, Bentley, I think. Um. But, uh, I would have to check back with that. Just, the screw is pissing me off. It makes me want to blow up this car. And not a lot pisses me off. But, oh, some things. Especially with this damn car. Yes, I just beat up my dashboard because I was pissed at it. Um, but this car is terrible. I'm sorry if you can you cannot hear me very well. I am in my footwell. Which is very difficult to do when you're six foot three. Mm. Ladies. All two of you that actually fucking watch me. Alright, got the screw out. That's gonna be fun to get back in. Now, the other side. I wish this thing was a manual. Um, and about that, I wanted to talk to you guys about that. Um... I might not actually swap this thing into a manual because uh, it's... Well, that one came out a lot easier. But it's it's a serious hassle that I I don't really feel like uh, d dealing with. Um, I'm going to look at doing it. Um, 
But that's about the extent of what I can promise, is I, I will look at it, can't promise I'll do it. Um, I know that would be a very interesting thing for me to do, since I'm only 15. I'm not even in college yet. Um, but the thing is, is it's, um, it's really, it's really fucking difficult. Uh, hold on. can't get the ground wire out of that or the power wire. That's annoying. But yeah. That's all I'm going to be able to promise you guys. It's The thing about the transmission swap is it's uh it's not the easiest of projects as you might be able to tell. I have to I would have to have this thing completely lifted up. I don't have that many jack stands. Uh I could lift it um I would have to take the front bumper off, put the put the front on uh, on ramps, and I have to put the back on jack stands. Uh, and even then, it wouldn't be that high off the ground, so it would be difficult for me to take for me to take the transmission out. You know, I I don't have a fucking high end lift or any of that good shit. I'm not a very experienced mechanic. You know, I uh, I go off of a bunch of shit from Diablo Formula Racing, Chris Fix, shit like that. Um, but this this car is bad. I think the only sensible thing for me to do with it is derby it at some point. After I swapped in a manual, of course. Which would be easier if I had just stripped the interior. Which I want to do. But this uh, car doesn't legally belong to me, so I can't. Um, 